Hey guys, welcome to another Get Ski Fit video. Um, I've just done another video, so I'm gonna just follow on and do this one straight away. So I have had a warm up, so if you haven't had a warm up, have one now. So this is a bit of a uh, all rounder, uh, beginner class. Uh, it's a hip workout, 30 seconds exercise, 30 seconds rest, 10 exercises, so under 10 minutes. So if you're looking at starting out or just some general fitness throughout the day, um, it's a great way to start the day. Just a few simple things, no equipment necessary. Uh, just some squats, some jumping jacks, some lunges, that kind of thing. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna start in 20 seconds. So as I said, pause the video if you need to, and we'll start with a little jog, okay? So we're gonna go in 20 seconds. 19, 18, blah, blah, blah. Right, here we go. <laughs> so first of all, 30 seconds exercise, 30 seconds rest, okay? We're gonna start with just a simple jog on the spot, see if we can just get some mobility going, a bit the heart rate up a little bit. Okay, here we go, 30 seconds. <clears throat> so, obviously, these videos, they have really mixed abilities. So, if you're feeling a bit fitter, put a little bit more effort in. If you found your comfort zone, okay, no problem. Just put as much effort in you can for 10 minutes, okay? Don't injure yourself though. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Okay, rest. Now in between, um, if you are a beginner, if in between, try not to sit down, just move around, just walk backwards and forwards, keep your legs moving, okay, for the whole 10 minutes. Try and keep standing up. Don't give up and sit down and then keep on getting back into the exercise. It's not good for your blood flow and it'll make it a lot easier if you're just constantly active. So the next one we're gonna do is squats. Okay, so when you do squats, don't get your knees in, it's very dangerous. So as you're squatting, make sure your knees are going outwards, okay? Obviously everyone has a very, very different range of motion. So if you can only squat to there, no problem. Try and do it a bit more next time. Try and keep that chest up, okay? Push with your heels. You don't wanna be leaning forward. No squatting like this, okay? Keep that chest up. So when that squat, it's important that you push up with your heels, not with your toes, okay? So squat and push up, okay? Okay, next one we're gonna do is mountain climbers. Now, don't worry, it's not gonna be too intense. We're gonna take it pretty slowly. So we're just gonna get the foot up here, little stretch. So you wanna get the foot up by your hand, or as much as you can, okay? If you get it up by your hand, then great, okay? Here we go, one, two, Ten seconds to go. If you're obviously feeling a bit fitter and you want to do it a bit quicker. Okay. Just do it. I'll give you the exercises. You just put the effort in, okay? So the next one we're going to do is a side lunge. So straight leg and then push with your outside leg, okay? Straight leg. Oh, God. Straight leg. And push again, same principles as a side lunge, as a lunge. Keep your chest up, don't lean forward too much like this, okay? Here we go, four seconds. It's okay if you don't have that full range of motion. No problem, it'll come. Just do a bit of a cool down afterwards, a bit of stretching. Do these kind of exercises regularly. Just start to get better mobility and a better range of motion, okay? Don't be discouraged if you can't do it for the full range. Everything you're doing is good anyway, okay? So, uh, what we do? Uh, so jumping jacks now. So we're just gonna do jumping jacks as fast as you want again depends on your level of fitness so jumping jacks for 30 seconds here we go five 
Five seconds. Twenty seconds to go. Keep it going. That's it to the end. Well done. So already halfway, see? Five minutes already done. <clears throat> so we're now we're gonna do a lunge and rotate. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a forward lunge. Now you wanna get your um, foot slightly forward so you, you don't um, put too much pressure on your knees when you're lunging. So we're gonna lunge and then we're gonna rotate across the knee that we've just lunged with, okay? <sighs> Okay, so left knee down, rotate left, back again. Right knee down, rotate right, back again. Left knee down. That's good. job <laughs> next one we've got is butt kicks okay so just the hands on your butt and let's see if we can kick our butt with our heels okay this will be number seven not long to go <sighs> hope you're all enjoying it okay five seconds here we go two one okay Bucket. Halfway. Keep going till the end. Even if you can only just get up to here, just keep it going. Five seconds. Good job. Now we're going to do hip bridges. So, we lie on the floor. Maybe you can just touch the back of your shoes. And then we're going to bridge up. When we bridge up, we're going to squeeze our glutes, okay? We don't want to overextend. Just want to get to a nice neutral spine and squeeze the glutes. You can hold it for a couple of seconds at the top. Even better. Here we go. If you're finding the rest too easy, then just do the glute bridge and then don't go all the way to the bottom. Shorter range and then squeeze at the top. You might find it a little bit harder. If not, you can go to the bottom and push. Nice hold at the top and squeeze. Nice. Uh, what we got now? Okay, single leg deadlift. So, there's a bit of balance. It might be a little bit of advanced for people, so let's just see how far we can take this, okay? So, left leg forward, and then we're gonna use our right arm, and then we're just gonna balance down and see if we can touch it, and then bring up again, then switch legs. If you can only do a little bit, that's fine. Don't worry if you fall over. Everybody falls over, okay? So, left leg, right. Down. Can we touch our toe? Back again. Okay, right leg. My left leg is definitely stronger. See, I didn't even get down then. Let me just finish that off. Okay, last one, plank. Here we go. Everyone knows the plank. It's important with the plank that you see loads of people know how to do it, but they don't do it correctly. So we don't want our bum up like this, and we don't want our hips down like this. We want a neutral spine, 
and we want to engage everything. It's not just about your stomach, your legs, your glutes, everything. Here we go. Tense it up just for 30 seconds. Hold like a plank. Breathe, just concentrate. Everything's tense. Hold it, hold it, just for 30 seconds. There we go. Good job, everyone. Now, if you're feeling fit, put the video back to the beginning and just do it all again. But it's a nice thing to do regularly. It only takes less than 10 minutes. You can do it in the mornings. Nice thing to do before you get ready in the mornings. As I said, 10 minutes. Uh, the things like the balances exercises, they will get easier. Um, just on uh, all of the exercises, the more you do it, the easier it will get. So if it's been hard at that time and you feel, feel a little bit demoralized, but you can't do the exercises, don't worry. Everyone's been in the same position. Just do it more often and then you'll start to get stronger and you'll feel the benefits. And that's where your gains will come. Okay, so thanks very much for following Get Ski Fit. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Um, all of that. Like, share, subscribe, comment. I knew there was another one. Anyway, thanks for following guys. Hope you enjoyed the video.